This is one of Fitness Blender's kettlebell workouts. This workout routine is going to go through three rounds of eight different exercises. It's going to take us about 39 minutes total. All you're going to need for this is an exercise mat and your adjustable kettlebell or kettlebell set. Let's go ahead and get started with round number one. Our first exercise is going to be the figure eight curls. Get ready. And begin. Nice and slow, you're going to swing that kettlebell from your right hand back behind that left leg, switch it off into your left hand, then swing it up in front, curling it up to your chest, pausing it on your right hand momentarily, then dropping it right back down between your legs, coming behind that right leg this time. Then switch it off to back to that right hand and start again. So you actually want to use your momentum from your legs from standing up from that short squat to actually help you curl that weight up to your chest. And you want to curl across your chest rather than just a regular curl straight up to your shoulder. You actually want to bring that kettlebell across in front of your chest, momentarily holding on that opposite hand, then dropping it right back down between those legs as you go back into that squat. It takes a little while to get used to the motion on this one, so start light. You can always build weight afterward. Just keep that motion going under control. Nice, smooth, rhythmic motion. Just a couple more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Next one, we're going to move on to the kettlebell halos. It's going to be up over top of your head. Drop that weight just a little bit from the last one you were doing. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Grab that kettlebell on the outside of those handles. Flip it upside down so the bottom of the kettlebell is facing up towards the ceiling. Get those hands nice and close to your chest. And then draw a nice big circle around your head, trying to keep those elbows tucked in nice and close to your head each time. So as you do that circle, as those elbows lift up, try to keep them straight in front of that shoulder to straight above that shoulder. Try not to let them kick out to the side at all. So you're trying to keep a nice tight circle as you go around that head, keeping those elbows in nice and close to those ears, trying to get as much range of motion out as you can. So really try to stretch that kettlebell back behind your back as much as you can, and then bring those arms back down in front of your chest each time. Just try to keep that motion going nice and smooth under control. As soon as you get back to the center, just re automatically reverse it, go right back the other direction. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. They're almost done. You should have two more, one in each direction. And back around and let it relax. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. This is the single arm kettlebell swing, so go ahead and grab that kettlebell again. You're going to be using just one arm at a time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So grab that kettlebell in one hand. Those feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to swing that kettlebell down between those feet, and then use that squat motion as you come back up for a little bit of momentum to get that kettlebell kicked up nice and high. You're also going to use that shoulder to pull that kettlebell up nice and high. Try to get it at least to shoulder height or a little bit higher, but don't go much more than that. This is just a regular swing, not a full swing. Now, there's a relatively quick choppy motion, but it should always be under control. You should have a nice constant rhythm as you go down and back up, and you should always be getting that kettlebell up to about the same height above that shoulder or to that shoulder. It shouldn't be changing drastically from straight out from that shoulder to really, really high over that shoulder. It should always be the same height. Just keep that motion going under control. Just got a few more repetitions. Almost done. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, we're going to switch those arms. Do the same thing again. So try to, keep, again, keep that motion exactly the same. You don't want to bring that hand any higher on this side as you did on the other. You want to keep a nice constant motion, nice constant height, nice constant rhythm. Almost done, just two more repetitions. 
And here's your last one right there. And let it relax. All right, our next exercise is going to be a kettlebell cross crunch. So go ahead and lay on your back for this one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Grab that kettlebell and flip it on the back side of that forearm. Those legs come straight up above those hips. You're going to crunch across from your right side to your left foot. So you're actually crunching up at a diagonal motion. So you're going from right to left. Right side, trying to pull that right shoulder higher up off the ground than you do that left side. Trying to get a little bit of rotation in there. Just keep that motion going. You've got a few more repetitions to go through. Almost done. And there's your last one right there. And go ahead and switch over to the other side. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember that kettlebell on that back of that forearm. And crunch up again. So this time in that left hand, you're crunching across towards that right foot. So try to get that left shoulder up off the ground just a little bit more than that right side. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. Nice tight squeeze the top. Really try to get up towards that foot. We're almost done, just a few more repetitions. And one more, and let it relax. All right, next one is gonna be a single arm snatch and press. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting from a squat position, you're gonna quickly stand up using momentum to jerk that kettlebell up to your shoulder and then hop again using a little bit more momentum to press it straight up over top of that shoulder and then nice and slow back down. So a nice quick snap to jerk that kettlebell up to that shoulder and then another little tiny hop to help press that kettlebell straight up above that shoulder to a full extension. Then nice and slow come back down, pause that shoulder and then let it drop again all the way down to the ground before starting right back into that squat and pressing it right back up again. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Really press through it. Last one. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and drop that kettlebell. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So take a short little break and grab that with the opposite arm. We're gonna do the same thing again. Remember, nice quick jerk, pulling that kettlebell straight up to that shoulder, pausing it with that kettlebell kind of back on the back of that forearm. And then another little hop, pressing it straight up above your shoulder. And nice and slow, let it drop back down to the ground. Remember, there's a continuous motion, so you shouldn't really ever pause for a long period of time at any point. So as soon as you drop that kettlebell, you're going right back into that squat. As soon as you press that arm straight up above your shoulder, you're going to drop it right back down again, getting ready for that next repetition. We're almost done. Just have two more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. All right, next one is a particularly hard one called a Turkish get up. I'll be laying on the ground starting for this one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Starting with that kettlebell in your right hand, you're going to extend that left leg out straight. Prop yourself up onto that left hand. Bring that shoulder and chest up off the ground. Then tuck that left leg back behind underneath you. Then come straight up to a full extension, come up from a lunge position. Then nice and slow, just reverse that as you go back down. So pressing up with that left hand, getting those hips up off the ground, pulling that left leg back behind you, then slowly pressing up from that lunge position to a full extension, then nice and slow back down again to a lunge, then tipping over to the left, supporting your upper body with that left hand as you bring that left leg from behind you, up straight in front, and then nice and slow back down, all the way flat against the mat. It takes a little while to get used to this motion, so start with something really nice and light. Just work on the motion first. You might want to use just, just your arm straight up above your shoulder. The main key of this is always keeping that kettlebell directly above your shoulder. So you want to keep that wrist directly above that shoulder the entire time through this full range of motion. Here's your last one right here. Go ahead and let it relax. And we're going to do the same thing over on the other side. So take a second. We're going to switch arms. So over onto that left arm this time. Kick that right leg out straight. Support your body with that right arm. 
Kick that right leg back behind you to the lunge, stand straight up, and then back down again. Back to that lunge, kick that right leg forward, and lay back down. Remember, main thing to focus on is keeping that kettlebell directly above that shoulder. Like I said before, you might want to try this a few times without using anything at all, just holding that arm straight up above that shoulder, just to get used to the motion before you start trying to do this with any kind of weight. Now take your time on this one. You don't have to do this as quickly as I do. So, so really move slowly, really deliberately moving those arms and legs to where they need to be to get up and back down. This is our last repetition right here. Almost done. And that's it. Go ahead and let it completely relax. All right, next one is a nice easy one. This is just a kettlebell squat jerk. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. From a full squat position, grab that kettlebell. As you come up, use that momentum to pull that kettlebell all the way up as high as you can, leading with that elbow. So you want those elbows nice and high above your ear. You want to try to get those hands up to at least the middle of your chest, but preferably all the way up to that collarbone or higher. So just make sure that you're keeping those elbows up nice and high. Never ever let your elbows drop below the height of your hand and try to keep those hands as high as you can every time you jerk that kettlebell up. Now just try to keep this motion going nice and smooth. You want to try to keep a nice rhythmic motion. So as soon as you drop down, you're coming right back up. As soon as you come up to the top, you're going right back down. Just got a few more repetitions to go. Almost done. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, next one is a kettlebell full swing. Now this one can be a lot more dangerous for that lower back. So make sure you start with a light weight until you're comfortable with the motion. Go ahead and get ready and begin. So it's almost exactly the same as a regular swing, but instead of just coming up to shoulder or just a little bit above shoulder, you want to try to get those arms in a complete straight line with your chest. Now the key to making sure that you don't hurt your back while doing this is making sure that those abs are nice and tight the entire time and actually at the very top of that range of motion, consciously shoving your hips and your shoulders forward just a little bit. So you're actually feeling like you're doing a crunch at the very top of that range of motion. And that's going to round that back just a little bit, keep you from hyperextending your back and injuring it. So really concentrate on getting that nice crunch at the very top, throwing your hips and shoulders forward just a little bit. And then as you come back down, you can kind of relax them a tiny bit, go back down to that squat, and then swing those arms back up. Nice tight squeeze, crunch as you tip those hips and shoulders forward. And that's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it release. That's the end of round number one. Go ahead and pause it here if you need to. Otherwise, we're going to start right back over with the figure eight curls. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, start by swinging that kettlebell back behind that left leg, switching it over into that left hand, then nice and quickly standing up, using a little bit of momentum to curl that arm up to that chest so it's across that chest. Pausing momentarily with that kettlebell resting on that opposite hand, and then drop it right back down, crossing behind that opposite leg. Just keep that motion going. Like I said, it's going to take a little while to get used to this motion, to get a nice fluid motion on it, but try to time it as best you can, get a nice constant pace. Just keep that motion going nice and smooth under control. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, next one is that kettlebell halo. Remember you use a little bit lighter weight on this one until you know you can control that motion. Get ready. And begin. 
Remember, bring it upside down so that bottom of that kettlebell is facing up towards the ceiling, grabbing the sides of those handles, and then nice and slow, draw a circle around that head, pause at the center of your body, and then reverse the direction of that circle. Just keep it going back and forth. Keep those elbows up close to that head as tight as you can. Don't let them stick out to the side. You want to keep those arms nice and close to those ears. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control, trying to get as tight of a circle as possible. Just one more in each direction, bring it back around, and let it relax. All right, the next exercise is a single arm kettlebell swing. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. One arm at a time, drop that kettlebell down between those legs, you go into a half squat, and then quickly stand back up using that momentum and that shoulder to pull that kettlebell all the way up to about shoulder height or a little bit over. Just keep that momentum going nice and even, swing it back down between those legs and then stand it right back up again using that momentum to pull that arm right back up. Now just keep that motion going nice and smooth under control, keep it at a constant pace. It'll help you keep that momentum going, makes it a lot easier for this motion. Almost done, just a couple more. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch those arms, we're gonna do the same exact motion over again. So remember, focus on keeping that back nice and straight, abs nice and tight, keeping that motion under control, and keeping a nice consistent timing to keep that momentum going. Really focus on not letting that back hyperextend so that those shoulders kick back behind you at the top of that range of motion. Always keep those shoulders pulled forward just a little bit, abs nice and tight, and lower back nice and tight. Just keep that motion going. Almost done. Two more. And here's your last one right here and let it relax. All right, go ahead and grab that mat for this next one. We're doing the kettlebell cross crunch. Get ready, and begin. Remember, place that kettlebell on the back of that forearm, then you're gonna crunch up across your torso, bring that left arm up towards the outside of that right foot. Try to get that left shoulder up off the ground more than you do that right side, but still getting a nice tight crunch each time. We're almost done, just a few more repetitions. Nice tight squeeze at the top, really try to get that hand up there as high as you can. And that's your last one right there, go ahead and let it relax. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. And start it up. Remember that kettlebell on the back of that forearm? Crunching up this time to the left, squeezing that right hand to the outside of that left foot. Just get a nice tight crunch, trying to pull that right shoulder up off the ground as much as you can. Almost done, two left. And there's your last one right there. Go ahead and let it relax. Next one is gonna be a single arm snatch and press. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Remember you're using a lot of momentum for this one. You're gonna start in that squat position, then stand up nice and quick, jerking that kettlebell up to the back of that forearm, right up that shoulder level, and then another nice quick hop, helping you press that arm straight up above that shoulder. Then nice and slow, controlled, let it drop back down in between those legs, go directly back into that squat, and start the motion again. Just keep that motion going nice and slow under control, Try to get a nice constant rhythm with it.
Almost done. Just two repetitions left. Nice and slow back down. We got one more. And that's it. Nice and slow. Let it drop. Go ahead and let it relax. Then go ahead and switch those sides. You're going to do the same thing again, just using that opposite hand. And begin. Almost done, two repetitions left. And here's your last one right here. And nice and slow, let it relax. All right, next one is the Turkish get up. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting with that kettlebell on that right hand, kick that left leg out nice and straight, propping yourself up on that left hand, then bring those hips up off the ground, switch that left leg back behind you up into that lunge position, and then stand up from there. Nice and slow, just reverse that position, working your way back down, that left leg goes behind you, left arm out to the side, bring that left leg in front, drop those hips down, and then lay back down onto that mat. Just remember, the entire time you're doing this motion, that wrist is directly above your shoulder, so you wanna keep that kettlebell straight up above that shoulder the entire time. Never kick it forward, Never bring it back, it's always above that shoulder. Got one repetition left, nice and slow back up. And let it relax. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and switch arms. And start it up. This is your last repetition right here. Nice and slow back down. And let it relax. All right, next one is the kettlebell squat jerks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Quickly stand up using the momentum you create to jerk that kettlebell all the way up to that collarbone, trying to shove those elbows up as high as you possibly can. You want to get a nice smooth motion. Try to keep that back perfectly flat the entire time you're doing it. Remember, lead with those elbows. You want those elbows way above the height of your hand, and you want those hands coming up to at least the center line of your chest, but preferably all the way up to your collarbone or higher. Just a couple more repetitions. And here's your last one right here. And let it relax. 
All right, moving on to the last one. This is the kettlebell full swing. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Squat down nice and low, swinging that kettlebell back behind you. Then quickly stand up, using those shoulders and that momentum to raise that kettlebell straight up over top of your head. Get a nice straight line from your shoulder all the way down to that back. Make sure you don't let that back round out. You want to actually contract those abs and round those shoulders and shove those hip forward just a little bit so you actually get a little bit of a curve forward at the top of that range of motion. That forward curve is actually what protects that back. If you let that back go completely straight or actually hyperextend backwards, then that's where you're going to really screw up your back. So always make sure those abs stay nice and tight. Never let that back arch out backwards. You always want it perfectly straight up and down or a little bit of a forward lean at the top of that range of motion. We're almost done. Got one more. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and pause it here if you need to. Otherwise, we're going right into round number three. Starting back over with the figure eight curls. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, start by a nice circle around that left leg coming up into that curl. Make a circle around that right leg, then back up to that curl using that opposite arm to switch it back and forth. Remember, try to get a nice smooth range of motion and a nice even consistent pace. Just keep that motion going under control with a nice smooth swing. Almost done, just a couple more. One more round, and let it relax. All right, our next one is the kettlebell halo. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, turn that kettlebell upside down or a nice tight circle around that head, keeping those elbows and arms right up next to those ears. Just keep that motion going, back to that center line of that chest, and then back around. Almost done. Just one more in each direction. Back around. And go ahead and let that one relax. All right, next one is going to be the single arm kettlebell swings. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Use those legs and shoulder to power that kettlebell up. Remember, we're just trying to get to about shoulder height or maybe just a little bit higher. Make sure those abs stay nice and tight, that back stays nice and flat. Just keep that momentum going and stay under control. Two left, one more, and let it relax. All right, we're going to switch sides, do the same thing with the other arm. And begin.
two left. There's your last one. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and lay down on the ground for this next one. We're doing the kettlebell cross crunch. Get ready. And begin. Place that kettlebell on the back of that forearm, crunching up sideways, trying to get that right hand up towards the outside of that left foot as best you can, really focusing on trying to get that right shoulder up off the ground as much as possible. Two more repetitions. One left. And let it relax. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, take a short little break, bring that kettlebell back over to the back of that left forearm. I'm gonna start that motion over, legs up nice and straight, crunching up to the right this time, so bring that left hand to the outside of that right foot, really trying to lift that left shoulder up off the ground as best you can. Two left. And there's your last one, and let it relax. All right, the next one is the single arm snatch and press. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Keeping that back perfectly flat, quickly stand up from that squat, jerking that kettlebell up to the back of that forearm up by that shoulder, and then another quick hop, pressing that arm straight up above that shoulder to a full press. And then nice and slow, drop it back down to that shoulder, and then again drop it down between those legs, immediately going back into that squat. Just keep this motion going, really focusing on that form and keeping a constant pace. Almost done, just two more repetitions. And there's your last one right there. And go ahead and let it completely relax. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take a short little break. Go ahead and grab that dumbbell and begin again. Almost done, just two more repetitions left. One more. And let it relax. All right, next one is the Turkish get up. Get ready. And begin. Watch that form on this one. You wanna really focus on keeping that hand right above that shoulder and deliberately moving through this motion, every single one of those positions, holding and pausing for just a second before you move to the next one. Really, really concentrate on getting that form right. Almost done, this is our last repetition right here. And let it relax. All right, we're gonna switch that kettlebell over into the other side, we're gonna be doing the same exact motion on that opposite leg this time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin.
Almost done, just one more repetition. Nice and slow back down. And let it relax. All right, moving on to the kettlebell squat jerks. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Nice deep squat at the bottom, then quickly pull that kettlebell up to that collarbone, shoving those elbows up nice and high. Remember, you want to always keep those elbows above the height of your hand. You want to get that kettlebell up to at least center line of your chest, but preferably all the way up to that collarbone. As soon as you drop that kettlebell, go right back into that squat and begin the motion again. Almost done, just two more repetitions. There's your last one right there, and let it relax. All right, for that last exercise, we're back to that kettlebell full swing. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. Nice deep squat, swinging that kettlebell back behind those legs, then stand up, swinging that kettlebell nice and high above that head, Try to get a nice straight line from your wrist all the way down to that hip. Just make sure you're keeping a little bit of a forward curve through that torso, keeping those abs nice and tight. You want to keep that curve just a tiny bit so the chest is tilting forward a little bit, those hips shove forward as you come up to the top of that range of motion, just making sure that you're protecting that back. Almost done, just two more repetitions. It's your last one right there, and let it relax. Now this workout burns a lot of calories, so go to fitnessblender.com and look at the description of this workout to find out how many calories it burns. Fitness Blender's videos are free in large part to people like you helping us spread the word. So go to your favorite social networking site and share this video or one of your other favorites.